Have you ever wondered what skills should human resource professionals have to be effective? This is because they manage people in all institutions, from large corporations to startups. Some are well run and others are not. Those who pursue a career in human resource management must learn to wear many hats. They can be trainers, counselors, or investigators within the same role and must also have both technical and soft skills. Today's human resource professional does more than record keeping and is charged with managing employees' experience in the organization. This includes identifying the right team, onboarding, training and managing performance, supporting them to realize their potential and separate harmoniously when the time comes. The human resource is unique and because of this, they think, they question and can change their minds, unlike other resources. Before we delve into the 10 skills in this tutorial, please be sure to subscribe below if you're joining us for the first time to engage us further. Welcome to Five Talents Africa. My name is Mildred Okoth. The first skill required by this professional is emotional intelligence. This is the ability to understand one's emotion as well as that of others. You should also take responsibility for whatever action you take as a result of your emotions. Working in this field means that you interact with everyone in the organization and being aware of other people's emotions helps the human resource professional. This is because they communicate both good and bad news in the organization. This can be the outcome of a disciplinary case, an impending retrenchment, a termination, or even a salary cut. Preparing the rest of the staff is the role of the department, and this should be done in the most professional manner, even if they are also affected. Suppose it's a promotion, it is the duty of the human resource professional to ensure that the process used is fair, as they liaise with the supervisor. By creating a transparent system, the rest of the team gains confidence in the system and are inspired to work harder and be the next in line. Let us know below how you've used emotional intelligence in your workplace. Communication skills is key for any human resource professional. This is because most of the activities involved require communicating with employees, either verbally or in writing. It starts from identifying the right candidates. The job advert has to be clear and well written to capture the best candidate's attention. Potential candidates are then invited to interview where they are engaged verbally, either in person or virtually. Finally, the successful ones are onboarded and their journey in the organization begins. Once employed, the human resource professional is tasked with ensuring that the employee has an awesome experience with the organization. Everything in the human resource department involves communication from training, managing performance, conflict resolution, up to separation. It is the role of the human resource to develop employee documentation, such as staff handbooks, amongst others. These documents communicate to the users and must be clearly written to be understood by those concerned. Teamwork is an essential skill for this profession because one cannot succeed without it. Almost everything a human resource professional does involves interaction with colleagues. Being a team player helps in communication and development of documents as well as their implementation. When employees buy into ideas shared by the human resource professional, they participate joyfully. By owning the whole process, it becomes easier to test and implement successfully. An example of team working skills is demonstrated during recruitment. The human resource professional must work with leaders who require to fill a position, to review the job description, and clarify expectations before drafting a job advert. Once they get a pool of potential applicants, they develop a selection team to help with the shortlisting, interviewing, 
and onboarding the successful candidate. All these activities involve working with different employees and cannot be successful without teamwork. To coordinate the human resource work and ensure its success cannot happen without team working skills. On many occasions, the human resource professional must make a decision to move forward. This must be timely and according to the policies and procedures of the company. Indecision can lead to losses and affect not only the organization but other colleagues. An example is a case of a retrenchment. The human resource professional must inform all affected in good time and plan the process as early as possible. All concerned in the process must be informed so that the organization is compliant. For example, employees, trainers, labor officers, and any other. Another case for decision making is when there's a delay in salary payment. The human resource professional should not wait until the date of payment to inform staff. They must be informed as early as possible so that they are able to take appropriate action. Human resource professionals must make informed decisions early and guided by the policies to ensure that everything is standardized and there is no preferential treatment. Decision making skills is a critical skill for a human resource professional and several are made daily. Solving problems is another skill required in this profession. Employees work towards achieving organizational goals, and if any problem is identified that involves people, the human resource professional must be involved. Most organizations have a lean team in this department and may not be able to deal with each individual at all times. However, to solve this problem, most human resource leads empower supervisors and other line managers through training to manage their teams. When this cluster of people are trained on human resource matters, internal problems are easily resolved within the departments before they get to human resource section, and the human resource team oversees and advises appropriately. By doing this, the human resource professional gets time to focus on key matters affecting people in the organization, like their well-being and things that enhance their productivity and impact profits. However, the initial hard work of training must be undertaken by the human resource team. The human resource professional must understand the commercial side of business to perform successfully. Cost impact organizations and one must know how the operations of the department impacts revenue. Focusing future human resource needs is necessary and having staff who can stand in for each other to fill a gap briefly is important if an employee leaves abruptly. It is not always this easy depending on the workload and the circumstances under which a person lives. However, having a plan may avoid loss of revenue due to the disruption. Retaining staff for as long as possible is often the ideal situation for most organizations. This is because replacing staff is costly, even though sometimes it is the best choice for the company. By maintaining a good employment brand, the human resource professional attracts competent candidates at all times. Good business skills helps to determine whether to hire full-time or outsource. This can save the organization funds when staff are not required on a full-time basis. At any one time, a human resource professional has several activities that run concurrently, and this requires organization skills. They could be conducting a background check, resolving a conflict, drafting a policy, planning a training, and several others. All these activities require organization for them to be delivered efficiently and within the set timelines. Communication to either management or staff must be clear. This requires organization skills and to remember issues, they must be jotted down. 
An example of when organization skills are demonstrated is during recruitment, how the problem is handled from a vacancy stage to when the new staff sits at their desk requires excellent organization. Several people are involved in this process and events occur based on people's conveniences. To have the new hire start work on the planned date is usually great success for the human resource professional. Please share your comments below if you think that this is a key skill for human resource professionals. The human resource professional cannot compromise on confidentiality. They are entrusted with information that should not be divulged irresponsibly. Staff entrust human resource practitioners with their information and so do management. Trust is earned and to be trusted, those who hold the position must earn it. Human resource practitioners should be honest and mature individuals. Both the organization and employee data must be kept safely and no confidential information should be relayed without the affected person's knowledge. If for some reason an investigation has to be conducted in regard to an employee's conduct, it should remain confidential until the activity is concluded. This not only protects the employee but the organization. Therefore, confidentiality is a key skill for any human resource professional. It does not only build trust with management, but employees are able to trust your word as the human resource professional. As you have seen by now, the human resource professional does many activities at the same time. Some of these must be delegated for them to be delivered on time. Delegation is an art and a skill that can also be learned and it's required by the human resource professionals to be effective. It is a skill to identify key people whom you can delegate to once in a while to reduce the workload. These are people who are responsible and can be counted on. The human resource practitioner must have such people to support them. Apart from that, they must train team leaders on human resource matters. This lightens their load on people management. This is effective with clear policies and procedures. Delegation is transferring responsibility to capable persons but remaining accountable. And that is why the human resource must oversee and advise team leaders in this scenario. This is a skill that requires tact and the ability to identify people's strengths and weaknesses is important for effective delegation. The human resource professional must be qualified and certified to deal with people. These are technical skills. People are emotional beings and the most valuable resources in any organization, but also the only ones that think, challenge, and change their minds any time. Having technical skills required enables the human resource practitioner to conduct their duties effectively and without discrimination. Some of these technical skills include recruitment. Hiring the most qualified persons for the organization ensures the company retains competent staff, and this reduces training costs. Selecting the most ideal training develops a pool of skills that are relevant for the organization to compete successfully. Other skills include succession planning, managing performance, effective automation, budgeting, report writing, amongst others, that are required by the human resource professional. And this brings us to the end of our tutorial today. And if you've learned something, please subscribe below and share a comment on other soft skills relevant for this position.